of the turnover issues of last year. 21 interceptions he threw, second most in the NFL. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line... And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Buccaneers have it. Jason Pierre-Paul, Tom Brady sacked, fumble on the play, recovery opening minute, and already a trip to the red zone. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. And he's got his tight end, Howard. It's a Buccaneer touchdown. O.J. Howard. O.J. Howard there to make the grab. And the Bucs have taken a first quarter lead. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. But some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You'd better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Pass interference. Defense. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Mayfield with a quick fire to Landry. Not much there, only a yard. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there? Swarming to it. And now, now Mayfield lost the football. Tom Brady sack. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Back deep, Jadon Mickens. And the kicks away as he angles his...
One for the sideline. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 34 yard line. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They've got a seven nothing lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Shotgun now for Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. First down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And a first hook up with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. But the Brady-Gronk connection, certainly something to watch here with the Bucs in 2020. Of Tom Brady's 541 touchdown passes coming into 2020, Gronk's 78 were the most of any receiver. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. To throw again, Brady. Gronkowski's got it on the crossing route. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 22-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. But the goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. now on first down. He's got it complete to Gronkowski. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. But it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Brady to throw again. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Number 13, Mike Evans. Tom Brady with two first quarter touchdown passes as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown. Indeed, the official says this one counts. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. That time, a six-play drive. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Taken in the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 yard line. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now. First and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll start things off with a handoff to Chubb. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter. 
and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. A three yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Fourteen-nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Fourteen. Browns, nothing.